And now here's some of the newest and must watch videos from Wingsound.com's online community. That's right, they were created by users like yourself who've created their profile on Wingsound.com and uploaded their tutorials to share their knowledge of music production with the rest of the community. Get Going Training gives you an overview of the navigation and playback functions within WaveBurner. So if we want to navigate between each track, let's go down here to the transport controls. And you can see by clicking on the right arrow that it advances the playhead to the right on the timeline and that we can go backwards to the tracks this way. If we want to play back a track, let's go over to track three and let's press play. Okay, great. So you can see how we can play back. If we want a needle drop, we just click here in the time ruler to move the playhead. Okay, so that's how we get around like that. Let's say that we want to loop this particular region right here. See that if I click and hold and I drag, like so, it's going to give me an end point and an out point. I'm going to play this back and it will loop between the two points. Pomona King explains how to time stretch vocals in FL Studio. In this box right here, it says time stretch. Where it says resample, click once and the drop down menu will appear. Okay? You want to click on Elastic Tonal. And right next to the Elastic Tonal, that box, there's a time knob. You want to right click on that knob. And since our sample is two bars and a little bit extra, we want it to be exactly two bars. We want to stretch it to two bars. So we're going to click two bars. And you watch, it'll actually stretch itself to two bars instead of this um, two and a quarter bars. So let's see that and it stretched itself to two bars. Visual Fuzz Studio shows you how to set up and use a vocoder in Reason. The maelstrom that goes into the carrier input in the vocoder. And we need the vocal sample to go into the modulator, so go ahead and disconnect the cables and connect it like that from the N19 into the modulator. The output of the vocoder going up to your mixer channel, this is exactly how you want it set up for a basic vocoder. I like to throw a maximizer in there as well, just to give it a little more gain. So now I've got my keyboard here, my Oxygen 49, while I play some keys on the NN19, and we can see if our vocoder works. And it does. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something, and if you did, remember to share with your friends. That's right, and remember that all these clips and videos are available for free, on demand, 24 hours a day, on Wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creatives.